So, even Gazidis is doing a Q&A tonight. And I've been following the Q&A on the same regular faces that attend these Q&As. Funny how it's always the same polite people that are so respectful on Twitter, that don't ever swear, um, always very polite, use massive words. Um, never, never the regular Joe that says the odd cunt word or the few fucks. Notice how most of them are Wenger in as well. Um, but there you go. Anyway, I'm just going to go through a couple of the uh, the answers that even Gazidis has come out with. Make of these what you will. Gazidis on last summer, we spent an unprecedented amount in the transfer window, over 110 million in that time. Really? Not sure we spent 110 million, mate. I think you got your sums wrong. I'm sure we only spent about 80 odd million. Um, we sold quite a few players as well, which obviously um, re recouped a bit of money. So I'm not quite sure we did spend £110 million. There we go. We'll, we'll let him off that question. Next one. Um, Gazidis, we signed one of the players of the Bundesliga team of the season and we are only looking for quality players. Yep, how many years have we heard that one? Next. We've got three times as many scouts as we had four years ago. Okay, that's great. Fantastic news. Bit of positivity. So if we've got that many scouts, how comes we've signed hardly any players in the last four years then? And where are all these young kids coming through the academy? Have we seen them? Nope, we haven't. Another stupid answer. Um, another question that he was asked, his reply was, I believe... That to be a world-class football club, you've got to be world-class off the pitch. Really? Well, as far as I'm concerned, Chelsea ain't world-class off the pitch. But they're a world-class football club because they win trophies. And that is what football is all about. Trophies. We've won three in the last 11 years. Funny enough, all in the same competition. Hmm, world-class that. Gazidis on Arsene Wenger's contract extension. It wasn't a sentimental decision, it was a mutual one. Really? Well, in that case then, how about you all go and fucking resign? You're a bunch of jokers. How the fuck have they all come to that decision? It's a joke. Uh, question from somebody in the crowd, probably a Wenger lover, on our worst season in living memory. Even Gazidis' reply was, I care about the club and those values. I want the club to be successful. The standard same bullshit they always spit. Um, let's keep going. Let's have a look at this one. Even Gazida says the team lost the handle for six or seven weeks, but fought back and hopefully confidence will be taken into the new season. Boom! Catalyst for change. We done well for... So we we fucked up for six weeks, yeah. Then we were good for six weeks. Yay! Wicked. Well done, mate. We're going to win the league next season. Gazidis on Kroenke. He hasn't put debt on the football club. He's been nothing but supportive. Really? Okay. Well, he's also not invested a fucking penny into the club as well. Why didn't somebody ask him that? Why didn't somebody come back and say to him, he hasn't invested a penny? This is the joke question of the night. Gazidis, I think we need to have a better connection with our fan base. <laughs> really? You're saying this less than a month after you gave Arsene Wenger a new contract? Are you fucking mad? What is the matter with these people? All these people that are sat there need to have a fucking long hard look at themselves. Absolute bullshit. Here's another one. I was telling someone recently that I hadn't had an hour of my time since the end of the season, which wasn't about the business of the club. Oh, fucking hell. Shall I get the violin out, mate? You're on two and a half million a year. Really? Come on, mate. Wake the fuck up. The goal is to win things for this football club and to do so, and to do so in a way which is consistent with the club values. The club values were never to rip off the fans. The club values were to never lie to the fans. And the club values were never to take the fans down the fucking river, mugging us off along the way whilst winning fuck all. Yeah? So there's your values. 
Ray Parler is here. Yay! Let's wheel out a fucking Venga lover. That that appease the crowd. Yay! Fucking seriously, absolute fucking bullshit. Yeah. Get me in one of these. Get me in one of these ASTs and these Q and As. Yeah. And I swear to God, I'll stick it on them. Because all the, all these people that go, they just sit there and go, oh yes, ah, oh yes, arson, oh yes, even. Yeah. Ask the fucking questions we all want answers to. What catalyst for change? What, you've recruited a few scouts and a few backroom staff? Wow. How's that going to make us better next season? Come on, man. This is bullshit. Anyway, I ain't even fucking interested in it anymore. I fucked that off for the night. After reading them, I've had enough. Anyway, there we go. Seems like it's the same old bullshit as last year and the 10 previous. So expect nothing but complete bollocks next season and maybe one possible sign-in if we're lucky. But, you know... They're going to try and get on with us fans. Yeah, okay. Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave your comments down below. I'm sure they'll be interesting. Um, thanks for all the love. I'm nearly at 1,000 subscribers now, so I really, really appreciate that and how quickly I've done that as well. Um, and stick a big like on, on the video as well. Thanks very much. Take care.